Hello, my crafty friends. I sure hope you're having a fabulous day. My name is Robin Pitts with Sir Chauncey Rocco Creative Designs. Welcome to day five of the Merry Craftmas series 2021. I am co-hosting this event with my crafty BFF, Michelle Randolph from Shabby Chic Chick. Hopefully you've been inspired by the fun projects that we've shared with you so far. As a friendly reminder, we will be giving away fun prizes and hidden giveaways. So you want to make sure that you watch each video through the end because you never know when you're going to get a clue or a prize. And please be sure to leave a comment. And last but not least, don't forget to be a visible subscriber to each channel. In order to make your channel visible, you need to go to your YouTube settings to make sure that your subscriptions are in fact public. That allows us to verify that you are indeed subscribed to our channel. I'm really excited about today's project. We are going to use the Anna Griffin Slay Easel Die Set to make two different cards. On the left, we have the Slay Easel, and on the right, we have a Z Fold card. Aren't these cards beautiful? Before we make the easel cards, I did want to review a few wonderful Anna Griffin items with you. So the first is the actual Slay Easel Die Set, and in the set, you receive this idea sheet. It also gives you easy instructions on how to assemble the easel card. And then you receive this set, which has 10 pieces in it. You have the outer piece, which actually makes the easel card. You have three pieces here to make the stopper. This is where you would include the sentiment. You have a decorative Christmas tree, wreath, a small and a large present. And then you have these gorgeous dies here. So there is an outline or a shadow die that goes behind these deer and the sleigh. I also wanted to review the Anna Griffin Christmas for All cardstock and stickers and sentiment. Now this collection is available at HSN as well as Anna Griffin and they are having great sales on both sites. I in no way endorse Anna Griffin or HSN. I'm not compensated by them. However, I've made a sizable investment in Anna Griffin products and I'm really excited to share them with you and to be able to use them for this project. So let's take a look at this card stock you get the 12 by 12 as well as the 5 by 7 card stock and this is beautiful as you can see these pieces are double-sided I'm just going to flip through really quickly so that's the 5 by 7 and this is a beautiful 12 by 12 next we have these gorgeous layered stickers I'm not going to go through all of them but I did want to spread them out just to show you how many you receive you receive four of each of these designs you also have these pieces here these are card toppers you also get these beautiful sentiments there are two of each design and I just love the beautiful shapes this set is very rich and robust everything that you need to make your beautiful Anna Griffin holiday card. So I'm going to clean off my desktop and start die cutting some of the pieces to make our sleigh. I'll be right back. The first card that we're going to make is the easel die. Before we do that, let me show you some examples that I've made already. So this is the first card and you can see these beautiful papers from Anna Griffin. This has several layers in it. We have these beautiful presents in the background, these oversized bells, another 3D present, and then to make the sleigh in the deer, I've used a muted pearlescent gold paper. And then I've used holly on the necks of the deer. And the sentiment says, sending love and season's greetings. Now on the back, we have this beautiful holly print, but you could easily include a smaller piece of paper here and then stamp a sentiment. This is the second card that I made. This is not using Anna Griffin paper. I believe this is from an older Recollections collection, but I wanted to use blues, silvers, and golds all together. And I love the way this turned out. Now here I did a lot of fussy cutting. So we have the deer in this gold glitter. As you can see, the harness is in silver. And on the left, the sleigh is in silver. However, the scroll work on the sleigh is in this gold glitter paper. We have this cute little angel 
holding a Christmas tree. This is from an older Anna Griffin collection. And then I fussy cut the presents and the tree and the little wreath in the background in this beautiful blue. On the bottom here, I have this beautiful snowflake that's got blue, white, and gold. This is from my Christmas stash. And this is what the stopper looks like. It says Christmas wishes. I've finished it off with this little silver bow and a gold pearl and then another beautiful snowflake. Here's another traditional Christmas version. Here we have the deer in a gold foil and the sleigh is green. Again, we have lots of fun layers here. These little packages and the trees are all made from dyes that you get in the set. I love this beautiful holiday ornament. And on the bottom, I have this green sentiment that says, sending Christmas cheer. It's flanked by holly. And then we have these beautiful green and red glittered pearls. So let's make our first card. These are the pieces that we're going to use to make our card. I've already cut out the base. This is what it looks like on the back. We're going to be focusing on this inside. I love this white and gold print. And to make this, I use this large outer die here. What you want to do is fold the card base at the first score line. You want to take this score line and you're going to fold it towards yourself just like so. Okay. Then I have cut out the decorative layers. Now what you'll notice here is in the back I have the shadow which is in a gold and this is the shadow die in the back right here. And then the detail of the sleigh is this inner part here. This is a piece that you want to run through your die cutting machine and then emboss it as well. That'll give you lovely details. So here what I've done is I have the shadow in a beautiful gold glitter. And then I used a silver foil to create the deer in the sleigh. But I also fussy cut the sleigh so that I can have the seat portion of the sleigh in this white glitter. I've also gone ahead and used a bow punch to cut out these little red bows for the deer. I also die cut some of these pieces. We have a little wreath. We have this Christmas tree, and if you look closely, you can see the beautiful embossing. And then another present. And these pieces come from these dies right here. The first thing we're going to do is put adhesive on this tab and we're going to fold this down and then we're going to take our decorative piece, our sleigh, and we're going to line this up just like so. Okay, When you line this up there should be an even border all around. You're not going to see this print in the back once the easel is standing up and so you want to go ahead and glue that. You don't want to glue any other part except for this little tab right here and it'll line up exactly where it's supposed to once you center it on your card just like so so go ahead and glue that piece down now now that we have the front of our easel card attached we can start to add the embellishment so i've die cut these cute little presents and a wreath i have more decorative elements from the anna griffin collection and some of these pieces will go down flat and then other pieces have foam tape on the back. So I'm just going to randomly glue these down and you can go ahead and do the same. I've added on the embellishments to the sleigh and I think that looks really pretty. Now we have to add our sentiment and our stopper. So I have this piece and I did add on two layers of foam tape. So I'm going to put this in the center of the card. So that'll be our stopper. And then I have the sentiment that says sending Christmas cheer. And I'm going to put that just about here. This is the finished card. I love the way it turned out. I love all of the layers and the dimensions. I added in these green glittered pearls on each of the bows. And then I've also added in this piece of holly and a little gold bowl to finish it off. Now let's work on our Z Fold card. This is a card that we'll be making next. This is a Z Fold card and I just love how elegant this looks. I cut this out on a 110 pound card stock 
and I use gold foil as the mat to accent this beautiful paper. If you look closely, you can see it's got these beautiful evergreen trees and then more trees that are in gold foil. And we have six reindeer. Here we have the sleigh in red, and I've got this cute little ornament. And this is a banner sticker from the Anna Griffin banners. It says, tis the season. On the bottom panel, I cut it out with gold foil as the first mat, and then this beautiful white glitter, because I wanted it to look like the deer were running in snow. Okay, so let's set this aside and gather our materials. First, you'll need a piece of cardstock that measures eight by 12 inches. On the 12 inch side, you're gonna score at six inches and three inches. Then you wanna to rotate to the eight inch side and you're gonna cut at six inches. And this will give you two pieces. You'll have one piece that measures six by 12 and then one piece that measures two by 12. So here is our 12 inch piece. I've scored at six and three inches. This is a piece that we cut off. For the matting layers, I have done a double mat. So we have this beautiful matte silver and this light blue snowflake paper. The first piece you'll need is this large piece and the first mat is five and three quarters by five and three quarters and the decorative mat is five and a half by five and a half. That's gonna go right here. And then you'll have two smaller panels and these measure for the first mat two and three quarters by five and three quarters and the decorative mat is two and a half by five and a half and those pieces are going to go right here then for this piece you'll have a mat that measures one and three quarters by five and three quarters that'll go right there and then you have two smaller pieces the first mat is one and three quarters by two and three quarters, and the second mat is one and a half by two and a half. So each of these layers have a quarter inch mat. So go ahead and glue those down now. Then you'll need to cut out three sets of the reindeer. And each set should have one reindeer with its leg bent and then one straight up. And so they're going to be attached like this. And then I've trimmed off all of the extra pieces and I've left this little harness right here. And then you will need your sleigh. Now that we have our panels glued down, we're going to glue this piece down. To do that, we're going to attach this long piece to the far left. We're gonna have it flushed at the bottom. You're gonna glue this right to the edge of this first panel, okay? And then this piece, is going to go in just like so. You're going to line it up to the far edge and this entire piece will be glued down. Now here's a tip. When you're gluing the left panel, what I like to do is just take a little pencil and then lightly draw a line. That'll tell me how far I can put the glue. So go ahead and glue this piece down. Now that we have our panel glued down, we can start to glue our reindeer. I'm gonna grab a set of reindeer and I've cut out some bows and put on the reindeer here. This is gonna be on the outside. So these reindeer are gonna be aligned just like so. And I also put a thin layer of foam tape on the one that's gonna be on the outside. What you wanna do is make sure you glue this down so that it does not go over any of the scored edges. Okay, so I'm going to glue this down just like so. And then I'm going to grab my next two. And for this last panel, I've cut out the sleigh. I'm going to put that down here. I'm going to put the reindeer in front of the swirls so go ahead and glue down your reindeer and you can also add the decorative layers to your sleigh this is my completed z fold card and i love the way it turned out i love this silvery blue with the light matte silver in the background i love this bright silver foil on the left side 
I have decorated the sleigh with this beautiful snowflake that's layered in gold, blue, and white. It's got a beautiful blue gemstone. I've added in the presents in this light blue paper, and this has a silver foil bow, and I've accented with a gold glitter pearl. We have a little wreath here. I love this little Christmas angel with the Christmas tree. And then this banner is from the Anna Griffin Banners. It says, Joy to the World. I love the way it bridges the angel to the deer. We have more presents and a cute little embossed Christmas tree here. And then on this side, we have another sentiment. This is one of the Anna Griffin mini Christmas stickers. It says, thinking of you at Christmas. And then I've finished that off with another beautiful snowflake. This concludes my review of my Anna Griffin sleigh easel cards. In today's video, I showed you how to make two cards. We made this easel card as well as these beautiful Z fold cards. Hopefully I've inspired you with new and creative ideas. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. At the beginning of this video, I told you that we'd be giving away fun prizes and also hidden giveaways. Well, today's video is a hidden giveaway. I'm going to be giving away this Anna Griffin easel card die set. In order to participate, you must answer the following question. What is your favorite Christmas tradition? Once again, what is your favorite Christmas tradition? You can leave your comment and say, my favorite Christmas tradition is. I will be announcing the winner in my video on Sunday, so don't forget to watch. Thank you so much for joining me. Up next, please visit Michelle Randolph from Shabby Chic Chick. Thanks again. I look forward to seeing you soon and Merry Craftmas.